Clay Black Boxing. Coming to you another video, man. As you can see on the on the screen, that I'm about to talk about heavyweights, man. Heavyweight division is the cream of the crop. I always have been, man. Uh, when the heavyweight division is doing well, every division in boxing is doing well. You know, uh, we have some good talent that's in the heavyweight division. We just want the guys to fight the best. We want, we want each other to fight. We just want all of them to fight each other. That's all, man. If you see on the screen, we got Deontay Wilder, we got Luis Ortiz, we got Joseph Parker, Anthony Joshua, and Tyson Fury. These right here are the top five in the heavyweight division. You know, I know Tyson Fury went on his went on his bench and stuff like that, but he's on his way back. And, uh, you know, it's good for the division. Hopefully he do come back. We know Luis Ortiz, man, rather he was uh, trying to use his blood pressure medicine as a masking agent or is he really was using it as truly for blood pressure be that as it may he's definitely is a, a talent man joseph rock parker as my brother coach shout out to that brother by the way as as he called him joseph rock parker a lot of people not high on him but at the same time he got a title and he still is uh undefeated and one of the top guys in the heavyweight division we all know about aj and uh bomb squad you know what i mean um one thing I'm going to say about, uh, you know, people can say one thing, man, but one thing about the LDBC, one thing I can say about us, man, we have somebody, and no matter what expertise or what field you want to talk about, we got somebody who's an expert in that area, man. You know, so shout out to my brother, 78 Sports TV. He, did a, he just did a video, you know, with, uh, with Bomb Squad, man, Deontay Wilder. You know, so, you know, her was talking about they offered him 10 to $13 million dollars to fight Anthony Joshua, he turned it down. But, you know, when you have somebody that can get the man on the phone and talk to him and dispel the myth, you know, it's nothing like hearing a person. It's nothing like hearing word of mouth, man. You know, so we all knew Eddie Hearn was lying. It was uh, full of bullshit anyway. And my brother Deontay Wilder, he, uh, he let everybody know the, the true facts that no negotiation has taken place and no money was offered. So... Uh, many people believe that Joshua and Parker is going to fight one another, which is a good fight because two undefeated fighters and two guys fighting to unify the heavyweight division even more, which is good with me because I want to see an undisputed fight, an undisputed heavyweight champion in 2018. Like, I want to see an undisputed champion in every division, no matter if 105, I'll be to heavyweight division. I want to see an undisputed, and that's what I want to see. So, in the meantime, um, Deontay Wilder said he want to fight Luis Ortiz, man. He said if Joseph Parker and uh, and Anthony Joshua was getting it on, he want to fight Luis Ortiz, and then he want to make he want to have a, a unification, undisputed match between the winner of Parker and Joshua. He's leaning towards Joshua because he knows it's a big fight. You know, UK versus US, two undefeated fighters, hundred percent knockout ratio versus ninety seven percent knockout ratio. You know, everybody you already know. You got the US fans for Wilder, you got the UK fans for. Uh, for Joshua, you got you got some UK fans that believe Wilder's gonna win. You got some US fans that believe Joshua will win. So that's why the fight is so intriguing, and hopefully everything goes off. I'm good with Wilder fighting Ortiz and Parker fighting and fighting uh, Joshua. You know, and then we have a unification, undisputed big big bash in 2018, summer 2018, maybe later in 2018. Who knows? But anyway, um, the brother 78 did ask Deontay Wilder. What if Joseph Parker do pull up an upset? Because many people believe that Joshua's going to beat Parker. But if Parker do pull up the upset, pretty sure that Joshua's going to have a rematch clause and they're going to fight again. And he said, what would you like to do? And, you know, would he like to fight Fury? And he said, if he said, yes, he would like to fight Fury because they were supposed to be in, had a fight anyway, especially since, you know, when Fury beat um, Klitschko, of course, you know, the, everything was on once Fury came to the States. And jumped in the ring with uh, Deontay Wilder, like WWE style. And the fight was already building up at that moment. But you know what happened with, everybody know what happened to Tyson Fury. But now he's back. He's training. Uh, and, um, hey, I'm good for anyone. Listen. Like I said, these five people that's on this screen are the top five. So, if Joseph Parker and Joshua fight each other, Parker win, they do a rematch. And then Joshua win again. And... Deontay Wilder fight Luis Ortiz and Tyson Fury until, until you know, Joseph Parker and, and Joshua. It's all hypothetically speaking. I'm good for all of that, though. 
I'm good with that, man, because uh, for all five of these guys are undefeated. And none of these guys have fought one another. So, Tyson Fury is back. Luis Ortiz is being reinstated. Joseph Parker has a belt. Deontay Wilder has a belt. Joshua has two belts. Let's get it on. I don't care. Man, shout out to the whole LDBC. Shout out for 70 Sports TV for putting out the interview. And shout out to Bomb Squad, man, because I'm riding with him uh, through thick and thin. Through thick and thin, man. Because I think he can beat all of these guys, man. In different ways, but I believe he can beat all of these guys, man. And, uh, hey, like I said before, Deontay Wilder would knock Ortiz into hospice. He already put Stephon in the funeral home, so he don't even have to be talked about. He will put Joseph Parker in a hospital. Into Joshua out to share a, 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 a room with him. And he might not. <laughs> Fury back into. Uh... <laughs> I ain't going to even say that, man. I don't want to see Fury on drugs again. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna... I'm going to keep that to myself. But it's K Black Boss. So I like, comment, subscribe.